My name's Brendan Wells. I'm a whitewater kayaker and a seeker of any adventure that's a portal into the flow state. Follow along as we seek unrun rivers and wild adventures around Alaska and beyond. And next we got Paul. Paul's in town especially to try to run the Susitna. And he's going to try to hop on Devil's Canyon. And we don't know what's going to happen to him. He's going to do it in a kayak. He's going to try to kayak the Susitna too. So we got Paul and Cole. Paul and Cole are going to play two or three songs for us. Paddle the uh, 100 miles in from the bridge up top to the canyon, but we were at this bar in uh, downtown Talkeetna, and uh, we met our pilot, and he was fired up to fly us in via float plane. Flight. I haven't been back here in like five years, so it's good to be back. It's definitely looking pretty high in there. Um, yeah, but it's looking good. All real splashy. <laughs> How Devil's Creek look? I don't know which one that is, but it was big. <laughs> they had a name, it's big. <laughs> The river's not too low, you know that. Probably just spent like an hour and a half under close to two hours scouting Devil's Creek Rapid. Uh, water pumped up and it's like 25,000 CFS and pretty juicy in here and we were just deliberating like every line looked really big and finally we ended up catching this kind of spicy eddy right here. Real cool to scout Devil's, Devil's Creek Rapid from right here. It is absolutely huge right now and all the sneak lines that are usually like pretty mellow were all real rowdy looking so we couldn't quite decide what to do but.
two, Devil's Canyon. Day one wasn't as easy as we were thinking it was gonna be. We made it to Devil's Creek Rapid and it was quite the puzzle to figure out. We probably spent two hours in total, like scouting the main line, then we kind of backed off that, then we scouted a main sneak line and then decided not to run that. And then we ended up running like the sneak of the sneak line, um, which ended up being good, but just crazy that there's just so many different lines and this giant river, so many different channels and options. And this morning we woke up, went right into Hotel Rock here. We camped above the rapid with the hopes that it would drop last night, but when we rolled up on this rapid, it's just total chaos. It's like this giant pour over with all of this recirculating water back to the middle, so it's really gnarly rapid. Um, there are moments where it looks like it flushes through, but ultimately we decided that the consequence, if you were to get stuck in the middle, is just way too high. Um, so we're foraging around, gonna get back in, and hopefully be able to run the rest of the white water today. So far, exceeding expectations and pucker factor. Dropping into the pearly gates, last rapid on the Sioux. on the Susitna. Just had a successful descent of some of the biggest whitewater in Alaska. Pretty awesome to start our trip out with just a ultra classic Alaskan run. Yeah, awesome way to start our Alaskan adventures. Good to get on some big water before we uh, head out to McCarthy to do some real big water that Jay and I scouted about a month ago. Yeah, it's kind of like everything I love about Alaska. Fly-in trips, take the Alaskan Railroad train out. Hopefully this train stops for us. I've never flagged down a train before, but apparently you're supposed to wave a white flag at them, but we don't have anything white other than my, I guess my underwear are white. I could use those. Yeah. 